So we just turn the bed around uh, to put the bed now into the window light itself. It'll give us a different kind of set. Gives me a little bit more space across here as well. We're shooting now with the light source onto the model, okay? So if we had our bride here at this point, depends how, how full a figure it is, whether we're gonna disguise more or show, show more. Obviously, every figure's a different one. You just need to analyze it like we've kind of done in the past and things, really. Key thing is here, light source is big and it's broad. Obviously, we've got a dark background running here, so you would think that this is gonna be more, perhaps, of a lower key, black and white kind of image rather than the higher key that we did. I will push the bed out soon though. We'll actually do the same shot with the flower wall and we'll just show you the difference. No difference as far as the exposure is concerned, just keeping as we are. I've changed to a 50 mil prime now from the 24 to 105, just because I don't need to shoot as many full figure shots and things really. Okay, so let's just bring the hand up with the veil just actually towards the hip. Twist the body around to be a touch, that's lovely. Looking down towards, or look straight ahead towards the, win the window for now. Let's double check it, that's lovely, and again. Happier, just a touch more. Looking down lower. Bring both the veil hands up towards the middle again, just towards the bra. Looking down towards the hands again. And again, just cover over the arm a touch. Same thing. Keep it. Excellent. Let's sit back down for me, just back into the kneel. Uh, can you move over towards the other side of the bed just a little bit more? There you go, twist around towards me a little bit more now. Twist the whole body around. And the feet, knees, there you go. A little bit more. There you go. Can you bring that veil around towards that back side as well? Other side. Yeah, it's already loads there. Still keep a little bit to hide the little bottom here attached. There you go. It's gorgeous. Then just pop forward just towards the front of the bed just a little bit more. Twist around towards me again. Excellent, straight at me again. Can you lose that bit of veil? Excuse me a minute. There you go, it's gone. I just still feel like it's in. Yeah, okay. Just bring this hand down to the side part of the bed. It's gorgeous, quick test. It's lovely. Again, looking towards the light for me. Keep it, and again. Bring the veil from the side, bring it just in towards the tummy. Both, both lower parts, bring it in, that's gorgeous. Looking down again for me, happier. Lower the chin more, happier, fake it more. That's lovely, keep it, relax. So can we turn the same pose towards that direction so the knees round towards Steve? Okay, take the veil back again. This. Yeah, and then just bring it nice and wide, bring it round towards the front again from both sides. Um, okay, so we've turned the body away from the light source. That's the key, uh, the key thing, yeah? Um, now we're going to start to actually get the three-dimensional shadow in. So whereas Briny was facing towards the light source before, it flattens the body down because there's not enough shadow. By turning the body against the light, you'll see it more when we shoot against the actual uh, flower wall because of the direction that the light is kind of angled. Um, but it's going to create shadow on the boob, on the belly, on the leg, all thinning elements, but all texture elements as well. So if there's texture on the laundry, if there's texture in the hair, if there's texture as far as the shape of the body's concerned, it's gonna pick everything up, and that's obviously what we're trying to do. What I will encourage you to do, though, is perhaps look at bringing in a small reflector panel, just offset, just to allow some of the light to bounce back in. If I was looking to do this in a commercial style of photography, I would be bringing a separation flash in from this direction, but this whole series is about using and maximizing the one light. Okay, so remember, she's turned away from the light source, so the ISO has got to go up to 200 again. Let's do the same shot, just bringing the veil around, just in towards the nickel line. There you go. <laughs> you booked that veil. That's lovely in there again, just down with the hands. Quick test. It's lovely, and again. Turn the head and just looking down towards the bed. That's lovely there again. Cover as much flesh as you can with the net in. So the arms, I've, you've released all the top of the arm. Bring it, so just clear the uh, nickel line more so the hands are gonna be just actually the top part of the legs. Open the knees just a little bit more for shape and come up higher for me now. That's lovely. Uh, put the hands underneath the veil, right underneath, and then bring the veil with the hands from underneath in. 
It's per perfect. Keep it. Oh, you just lost it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? With those... Hand yeah, inside it, it, it is. Yeah, I know. But if you use the hand just as you did to actually push it away, you've done it perfectly. That's the lovely. It's there. Twisting around towards me as well. Looking down towards here more. That's lovely. Bring the hands down a little bit lower down the veil for me. That's gorgeous. Lower the chin a touch. Happier. It's lovely. Bring the uh, hand on the uh, right hand towards the bra strap as if you're affecting it. Bring the left hand down towards the knicker strap with the veil. That's lovely. Yeah. Keep it. Turn the head towards the light, light source again. Turn the head more. Twist the body. It's lovely. Relax. Okay. Obviously, it's a good idea to check with the client first if it's okay to move the bed while they're on there. I did. Uh, it's okay. Brian, you said it's a bit of fun. Um, so what I'm looking to do is I've got the lighter background now because obviously this is the darker grey. Now we've got a higher key coming in from behind. Remember at the same time though, while we're here, we can still shoot towards this window light that is coming in the reverse. So if you think about it in the first set setup, we didn't do uh, the bride facing us. She was always with her back, but now she is facing us. The ISO has changed the 200, so we're ready to actually shoot. If I want to use that reflector panel, I can just to obviously bring the depth and the detail up in the shadow areas and to make it a little bit light and bright. Shot a few brides in my time. Okay, uh, quick test. It's lovely. Okay, so, uh, again, looking around with the head just towards here. That's lovely. Lower the uh, chin. That's beautiful. Just there again. Keep it. Use this hand to push out the veil and bring this hand down to the nickel line for me. Just put the hand underneath the veil so it's always got one layer of veil on the top of it. There you go. It's lovely. And again for me. Keep it. Bring it back down the pillow length. Bring it back toward that slubby's there. And again for me. Okay, grab the veil from the lower part and bring it up high again as we've done. Right in towards you. That's lovely. And again, straight at me. Quick sec. There you go. It's lovely. Happier. Excellent. Relax. 